Hi, this is Dr. Fryer. It is January the 14th, 2021, and in this screencast, I'd like to show you how you can turn in a PDF to Google Classroom, and specifically one from typing.com. So in our media literacy classes, we are using typing.com, and so Cassidy students in the middle division can go to Cassidy Bookmarks and select typing.com there. You can also just click type typing.com in your address bar and you're going to click student login and you're going to be logging in with your Google account. So you're going to click login with Google and then you're going to be selecting um, if you have more than one, the class, you may just have one class um, students from Cassidy here in this uh, area, you're going to be able to click on tests and this is where you're going to see the tests that you've done. And you can see here, I've taken a three minute test. And so in order to turn that in, I'm gonna click print certificate, but I'm not actually gonna be printing it. I'm going to download it. So up here in the upper right corner, I have an icon that looks like an arrow going down. I'm going to click that and then I'm going to save this and I could save this probably on my Chromebook. It'll just go into my downloads folder. You do wanna to watch to see where you're saving it because if you put it on Google Drive or somewhere else, that's where you have to go find it. But I've saved it into downloads. So now I can come here to Google Classroom and I can go to my class and I can select my assignment, which in this case is called our keyboarding assignment. Um, and this was a five minute test and I did a three minute test, but make, make sure you get the correct one. Um, um, the process is the same. So I'm going to say add or create. And the one you choose is file because you're getting a file that has been downloaded to your computer. So when you click file, you're gonna be under upload and you have to browse. Now you're gonna find where that is. And if your computer comes up right away to that downloads folder, the one that you used before, it could be right at the top. You can also click at the top to make sure you've sorted those by the date they were modified so that the most recent one is at the top. But there it is, because I didn't rename it, it's just called doc. I'm gonna go ahead and click open. It's gonna attach and now I can mark this as done and turn it in. So that is the way I will be able to turn in a PDF. Again, it is a file that I'm going to submit um, and we're not actually gonna be printing it, we are just um, downloading it so that we can be green and we can save on our printing costs and we'll be able to turn that in for class. Thanks a lot for watching.